Hey guys, Mark the Line Lock Surfer here, and we have something that I want to talk about that is pretty rare in the surf skate world. We've got some rare drama, and it is centered around Kelly Slater, who, love him or hate him, he is without a doubt the greatest surfer of all time, the GOAT. So many accomplishments from the youngest world champion winner to the oldest world champion winner and nine other world championships in between. Just you name it, he's done it. So some people might feel that he has earned a right to have his say. But recently he took a shot at one of the most popular surf skate accounts on Instagram. So I'm talking about the Surf Skate Academy. It's run by a guy named Andre, who is a, a Russian who runs a surf camp uh, in Bali. And he offers training videos on working on your surfing using surf skate as a tool. Now, I just recently posted on my Patreon channel a video that kind of went after some people who ride in the same style as Andre. Um, the topic of that video was addressing the epidemic of fake stees in surf skating. So fake stees, if you're not familiar with the term, it's when you are doing something that involves kind of over the top contrived motions that are not something natural your body would be doing because you think that aesthetically it looks the way you wanna look, or in this case, looks more surfy. And I think a lot of the people who verge on the side of surf training can often embrace that kind of fake stees. And I would say Andre would probably be within that category. But for me, I'm talking about fake stees when it comes to just the aesthetics of how you're riding. If you're going out of your way to look a certain way, to try and have a certain style, and you're doing it in a way that isn't natural to what you wanna be doing, um, that's not something that I would want to emulate or that I want people learning from me to try and simulate. Now, if you are doing it strictly for training um, because you want to try and learn the mechanics of how your body should be moving on specific parts of the wave, doing your bottom turn, doing your top turn, and really diving into you know, the nitty gritty of how your body motion should be moving, I can understand where you might have to be over the top and do things in a, a little bit more exaggerated way, even though it might look ridiculous in the skate park. So let's get to what the, uh, the comment was. I'm gonna run the video now. You can see basically Kelly Slater has gone onto his Instagram and called the guy a kook. Someone please stop this kookiness. Um, and Kelly Slater being who he is with his millions of followers, uh, this obviously had kind of a cascade effect where all of Kelly Slater's followers or a lot of them started kind of piling on and coming into the comments of the Surf Skate Academy and making fun of him and calling him a kook and calling him all sorts of names and all sorts of ad hominem attacks. And so this is one thing that I wanna make clear is that when I criticize style, I'm doing it as a little guy who's looking at big accounts, who is saying, you know, just because this person has 112,000 followers, maybe you don't wanna try and emulate that style when you go out to the skate park. I think that's a fair thing to make. I did it in a non ad hominem attack kind of way, just pointing out things about the style and why I don't think it looks natural and why you might wanna try something different, um, do lots of practice so that you kind of pick up your own style rather than trying to copy someone else's. I think that's a very different circumstance than someone who has a huge audience like Kelly Slater to go punching down on someone like this guy who's just trying to sell, you know, courses on how to surf skate, trying to help people improve, try to help people improve their surfing. So let's let's take a look at some of the comments here because I think there's a lot of division even in the surf skate world about how people feel about this. So I'm gonna read um, some of Andre's response that he posted on his Instagram story um, just to show his response to the Kelly Slater comment. To everybody who supports, thank you all, um, but I don't care so much about all this hate that I've developed a res resistance to it a long time ago. I have tons of such comments and 10 tons of thanks and saves. During all the time that I've been running this page, not one person in my life has come to me to say what they write on the internet 
but more than 100 people have come to say thank you and respect. Keep in mind this is translated from Russian, so if it sounds a little bit odd in the phrasing, that's the reason. That's why I take all these screams from the crowd only with a smile. The number one surfer on the planet is asking someone to leave my, or asking me to leave my stupidity. In 1.5 years, 112,000 people followed my page, considering that this is a very narrow niche. And I got to agree, that is incredibly impressive. I've been grinding this out for three years now, and I'm not even at 3,000 followers yet. So you're doing something right, Andre. Um, about 112,000 people wonder what I do, so what's the point in looking and leaning on a bunch of toxic people if I have such an army of support and people who are with me? So these comments from them are like mosquitoes biting my Boeing, dogs bark, and the caravan moves on. And basically, I think that roughly translates to the dogs will bark, but the train will keep running. So I think that's actually a really clever response and I mean as someone who works as a social media person in the surf skating niche you know I face a fair amount of criticism myself and you know as much as we grow thick skin it's hard but imagine putting yourself like Andre is as a surfer who is trying to train people on surf skating so that they can get better and then to be criticized by Kelly Slater who for all we know could be one of his heroes and for him to come at him without trying to understand or giving any constructive criticism or anything just calling him a kook like and making fun of him and getting his th his thwarts of fans coming after him as well and making fun of what he's doing you know I think that is is a pretty low blow and not something um, that I have much respect for. Now, you know, anyone who is the GOAT in their field and when it comes to athletics, like, you gotta have a bit of asshole to you to have that competitive drive. Like, just look what Kelly did to Rob Machado to, to win that championship in Hawaii. Like, you know, it, you gotta have that sense of killer instinct that lets you win that much and i think sometimes that doesn't translate well socially when it comes to having cues of what you should say and what you shouldn't say and maybe not thinking about the effect that this could have on someone who might be a big fan of kelly slater or maybe was before this incident so to some extent i can agree with the criticism of the way some surfers are teaching surf skating and trying to sell it as a way that's going to instantly make you a better surfer. Um, but I don't think that is the right way to do it or a fair way to do it. And you know, I'm kind of with Andre on this side. Even though it's not someone whose style is something that I would emulate on a surf skate, um, I think he's just doing his thing. Um, you know, a lot of people who are looking to surf skates to try and improve their surfing don't have access to their own surf ranch. They don't have access to their own surf training facilities. They don't have access to their own in-person coaches, to their fitness trainers like Kelly Slater does. I'm stealing this line of thought from Michael Regan, work for Avocado, so credit goes to him on that line of thinking. So for a lot of people, buying a $99 online course from, from Andre's uh, Surf Skate Academy might be all that they can do to try and get their stoke. So, you know, I just want to say that uh, I'm really curious. It seems there's a divide in the surf skate community about how people feel about this. I would love to hear from you in the comments where you land on this. Was Kelly Slater out of line here? Is there validity to the critici criticisms? And sometimes it needs to be said bluntly. Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching, guys. Apologize for my scuzzy appearance. Uh, I've been dealing with COVID for the past week. Um, finally, the fever broke, so I feel okay to start trying to make some content again, but I still have a lingering cough. My voice is a little off, but uh, I've been waiting a long time to get to this video, so let's just get right into it. We're gonna be talking about something that I think is a little bit heavily influencing surf skating, a little bit too much for my liking, and it's something that is easily impressionable on beginners, but as you get more intermediate and advanced, you start to notice things that I just wanna point out so you have an idea of some things to look for so that maybe you're not emulating something that more advanced skaters might be looking at and thinking, 
oh, you're trying too hard. So we're going to be talking about fake STEEs. Now, before we get to that, uh, I think maybe there's surf skaters who don't always know what the word STEEs, S-T-E-E-Z, um, actually means. So STEEs is a slang term um, from skateboarding originally, I believe, which means stylishly easy. You see some people who skateboard or surf or surf skate, and when they do things, they just have a knack for making things look easy without any effort. They can do something really difficult effortlessly. It's something that you kind of almost have to be born with, but you can learn it eventually. Fake steez is kind of the opposite of that. That is when someone is trying too hard to make something look stylishly easy. And usually when this is done, it looks contrived, it looks fake, it looks manufactured. So rather than having that stylishly easy effect, it actually looks like you're kind of going over the top, doing a little bit too much to try and look stylish. So I'm going to be using a few examples today to show you some far extreme versions of fake steez.